Okay, I got the roof all on, roof cap on. About 10 minutes after I got it done, got to try it out. Had a thunderstorm, had some pretty gusty wind, so we had about five minutes to get everything picked up and clamped down. And we got uh, and we got a doorknob now. And this is what we got on the inside. Got to get that uh, door made for that access hole. And I got to get. Up along the roof here, I gotta get, I'm not sure, you call it soffit maybe? Gotta get some, probably some vented stuff. I think I got some left over from another project. And some more trim and stuff. And we're probably gonna take a little break. I got some other things I gotta catch up on, so. Um, see you when I make some more progress. Hey, I got the framework made for the uh, trap door there, and I used uh, garage door hinges as they kind of move it out a little bit when you go to open it up. Makes it clear things better. And I got a uh, piece cut out for that, and I've got my little sheet metal punch punching the holes for the, the screws to mount it on the wooden frame so it's coming along pretty good. Okay, got her installed. That's what she looks like from the outside. Go inside and take a look. latch up on the, the top. slide the roof. That's the telescope. So now I think I'm going to work on the permanent uh, hold down for the roof. Now the roof's pretty well finished up. <clears throat> it's gotten quite a bit heavier and can still move it but you have to put quite a bit of effort into it so decided I was going to attempt to make a power um, movement for it, I guess. I don't know what you'd call it. Like a Well, I'm going to try to convert a garage door opener. Some parts that I have. <clears throat> this was from a commercial garage door opener. Had a belt drive motor back here. Uh, which I took off because we're going to be using a 12 volt system. <clears throat> So it'll be belt driven to here, and we got a <clears throat> reduction with the belt, and we got another reduction here, and this will be the final drive. And this is a piece of track I've got off of a, an old garage door opener. Hopefully it's going to be uh, heavy duty enough. I realize that garage doors, the springs do most of the work, but... Uh, by the time we get all this reduction down, it's going to go pretty slow, so it should should have quite a bit of power if everything's heavy enough. <clears throat> and the motor that I picked, um, actually got this when we went out to visit her dad in Idaho. Um, don't have any clue what it was off of. Um, they go to auctions too, and he knew I liked motors, so 
give me this motor it's got a gear reduction in it and I can't even begin to slow it down by hand so by the time we go through all these other reductions it should have plenty of power so hopefully with this bunch of stuff I'm going to be able to come up with a I guess you call it a winch system to, to move the roof so if I get something created I'll show you if not then can't say we didn't try well I've been making some progress but it's been real slow went camping for four days and then it was the 4th of July weekend so got about a week of not very much done <laughs> um, did get some things accomplished had some people that wanted an update so I guess this will be a short short video but, uh, I got some uh, vents on the underside of the roof here I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not got that closed in and we do have a uh, center wall now and I had an old glass out of a garage door and I made a frame for it and put a little window in here so when he's in his room here and got the lid open the telescope out there he can his workstation will be right right in here so he'll be able to look out there and see his telescope um let's see what else have I got done I got some uh, plywood on the end there to strengthen it a little bit more uh, don't know if it's necessary but I had them pieces so I thought I'd do it um, and I put some braces on the trusses up there because when I make the power uh, system to move it I thought probably wouldn't hurt to have a little extra brace in there and while we were camping there was a harbor freight it wasn't too far away and I went and they actually had the right casters that I needed so I got those so now they're all all the same instead of those being swivel they're now the stationary ones and it made a big difference um, probably wouldn't need that power system but I think we're going to make it anyways just because so let me open the roof and I'll show you another another improvement if the camera will stay there and I don't know if you remember or not but I had wooden pieces here for the casters to ride in and while we were uh, camping of course my little brain was thinking and I remembered I had some extruded aluminum pieces and they have another angle piece that goes off at this side of them and I was able to with a carbide tip blade in the table saw cut that part off so this made this real nice aluminum track now it's real smooth and and even and it goes the full length of the travel that we need so that was a big improvement a real pain to put in there with a the roof on but big improvement so I think oh and then uh, I come up with a plan for the ceiling in here I wasn't sure what I was gonna do and I remembered that uh, we taken a drop ceiling out of the basement and I'm glad I didn't throw all that stuff away because I got enough pieces left that uh, I think I can put a little drop ceiling in here and it won't take up much space and I have the uh, insulated uh, ceiling tile to go in it so I think that's going to work out good so I guess we got to find some kind of paneling for inside here I've been kind of scrounging around hoping I could find something I can recycle but I haven't come up with anything so far but I guess that's about the extent of the improvement so far um, it's been like 90 some degrees here and humidity to match I think 
and uh, out in front of my house is a farm and they've been doing hay all week long from morning till night you can see the size of that field they did that today and they're making those uh, square bales and the baler's got a kicker and shoots it into a wagon. Then they got to go and put it all in the barn. And I don't know how these guys can work in these hot conditions like that. Uh, they sure don't get enough credit. But I guess that's enough of my ranting. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this one, give me a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe. See you next time.